Hey everyone, it's Elisa, and for today's video, I'm going to be doing another painting tutorial. It's going to be the same painting as last time. It's going to be the whiskey glass and cigar on top. But this time, instead of doing it on an 18 by 24 canvas, we're going to be doing it on an 11 by 14. I know a lot of the time, big canvases or big platforms can scare people. For me, it scared me for a few years. I was never broken into painting on bigger surfaces because it is much more difficult to get those um, the scale and everything correct. So I'm going to be doing it on a smaller one today. This is a custom. There is a slight modification to it, but for the most part, everything is pretty much the same. So let's paint it together. So I had to change shirts because I didn't want to get paint on my Disney shirt. But first I have black and white paint. Before, make sure your canvas is prepped. So this is a prepped canvas. And then the first thing I'm gonna do is take my water spritzer and just give it two sprays from like far away. That way, when you put the paint on, it goes on much more smoothly. I will apologize about my voice. I am uh, recovering from a recent sickness, but I'm gonna paint the background, which is a gradient, and then the black table on the bottom. All right, I just painted my background. If you haven't watched the original video, we have like a gradient. This isn't, it doesn't look so gradient on camera. There we go. It's like black to like a very light gray and then a black table. So after that, I got some fresh water. I washed the sponge brushes and now I'm letting it dry before I start painting. So first I'm gonna outline the glass. Um, this I will do by flipping the canvas around to get those lines as straight as possible. So you wanna start off with the biggest shape, which is the shape of the glass. I'm gonna do the bottom of the glass and go ahead and fill that in with white since it is a very bright part of the picture. I'm gonna paint the rim line and the fill line. And then here I'm gonna take a paint pen and I'm gonna to start to outline those ice cubes just so I know where to start shading and where to start highlighting. Okay, so all I do now is just paint a very rough outline of what the ice cubes are gonna look like. I messed up right here, just ignore this. But um, even since the ice cubes are in the water, you still want them to kind of have that dimension look. So I'm just kind of drawing uh, so you can kind of see through the ice cubes in a way. So now I'm going to start by laying down some of the base colors. So now I'm going to start by first I'm putting all the paints onto my palette that I'm going to be using. And then, like, honestly, at this point, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just laying down the most main color that every shape has. You don't want to start by painting those details. You want to start by painting the very base color. Even if something has multiple colors, you just want to pick one color and then you just want to layer and layer and layer. That's like literally my only advice for painting this part. It's just layering paint. This is where I'm at now, applying base colors. We're kind of starting to develop that dimension in the ice and I'm going to keep layering. All right, so now it's important that you want to work within every pane. So ice obviously has a bunch of different sides, so you just want to keep adding paint to all those sides and making sure that no side has the same color of paint. I don't know if that makes any sense. It's very hard to explain. But you want to take into account that the ice is 3D, so you're painting the outside of the ice, but also the inside at the same time. This is actually like pretty easy to do, in my opinion. This is where I'm at. As you can see, I'm just painting different shades of orange, brown, red, tan, and I'm using that to kind of build on those dimensions that I created with those lines so you can see the outside of the ice cube, but you can also see the inside um, with those lines that I created. And the lines you can't create explicitly just like by drawing them. You do it first, but then you kind of want to build on that with those colors and with those shade ranges. So that's kind of what I'm working on right now. Right, I've never instructed art before, so I'm really sorry if I'm doing a terrible job, but the left and right sides of the glass, those are going to be really dark. So you're going to go from black to dark brown to brown to like the lighter color. So that's where I was working in the beginning, but now I'm kind of moving towards the liquid part itself. The, all the space that the ice doesn't occupy, I'm adding um, different colors and layers to those areas. All right, this is where I'm at right now. All right, so the buyer did request a joint to be painted in place of the cigar, which I'm totally okay with doing. So I had to go ahead and look at my phone to get the shape, so that's why it just kind of came out of nowhere. But um, after that, I kind of kept adding dimensions to the paint. Literally, I'm on like layer five or six by now, and I kind of do this by moving my brush in a squiggle motion to kind of give that liquidy, like, movie effect. Like, the I don't know what I'm saying, never mind. All right, so as I mentioned, we did have a modification in drug choice. Um, not that it makes a difference, 
but the purchaser of this painting is from a state where this uh, drug of choice is decriminalized. So um, not promoting anything, not sponsoring anything. This is just what he paid for and what he requested I do. I didn't want to time lapse this because I had to look at my phone for a reference since I don't paint this very often, but now I'll get back to the time lapse. Now I'm going to add dimension to it by painting the bottom darker and then the top lighter. That way it kind of gives the effect that there's light coming down. Then I'm going to move on to the whiskey and paint the rim line and the fill line. I explained this in the last time. It is in the forefront of the image, so it's important that you paint that to provide that 3D and that dimension to it. Okay, this is where I'm at right now. Um, I have all the major details done. I'm just going to let the paint dry. Then I'm going to go back in. I'm going to ask him if he wants um the name of that product written on the label because normally it is written on the label so i'm gonna ask him um i'm gonna touch up the reflection touch up the bottom of the glass and maybe some highlights and shadows and then i'll be finished all right it took me about two ish hours and i'm finally done um i'm really pleased with how it turned out and i hope that the buyer is too and i'm very grateful that he placed this order through me just as a reminder i did open up an instagram account just for my artwork the username is the art of elisa it was the only thing that was available, but I love it, so it's okay. And I'm also going to continue to upload videos on my YouTube channel, like tutorials and stuff. So thanks for watching. Bye!